Hi folks and welcome to another video. What I'm going to be trying to do in this video again is trying to take Poland in two turns and uh, recommended by uh, a player by the name of Magic on the Matrix forum. Um, not only can he capture Poland in two turns but he also sets up for uh, the invasion of Denmark uh, for turn number two and I'm going to show you that too. So basically what he does is he takes this armor unit and he places it in this particular direction here. So now this armor unit is uh, in range to be able to take Copenhagen. Then all he does is move the units that are on rail, one near Frankfurt and the other one in Berlin, into position here. So I'm just going to complete the first turn here and have some fun with this. So I put it in raider mode and moved out to uh, the convoy lanes. Uh, you might have an aggressive uh, UK player. So what I usually do is move my uh, fleets to Stutton uh, just for protection. And again, just in case you have an aggressive uh, UK player, I try to make sure that on the next turn I'm going to be able to uh, garrison these ports here so I rail some of the small divisions into this area so that this way I, I don't have to worry about an invasion in this particular area. I know that uh, the Netherlands and Belgium are not going to be able to attack me. Another thing players do is they take Luxembourg in this particular situation so that would mean I would have to declare war on it. Uh, a rule change might be that uh, if you declare war on Luxembourg the Netherlands and Belgium may join into it. It hasn't changed yet so I can still do that with uh, this particular version that we're dealing with. Okay and the other thing I tend to do is just for fun since most of the uh, air force for the French are in the front there I have fun uh, strat bombing Lyon and uh, reducing some production values and taking no losses basically so this is really good so no losses whatsoever it was almost like a free hit the way the units have been set up but remember this video is about Poland here so from that particular situation I'm going to move into and capture Danzig so I, I've done that I'm happy with that the idea behind it is this cavalry unit is where everything pivot, pivots out of and the destruction of this particular unit becomes pivotal when you're dealing with uh, um, being able to move forward pushing forward and attacking Lutz um, what you want to be able to do is you want to be able to capture Lutz on the first turn uh, while strangling any approach of a cartwheel to uh, from this side and this side. Uh, you won't be able to stop it from this direction because again you're not going to be blocking it. What you're going to be doing is just to kind of show you from a picture point of view is you want to be able to move your armor unit here and this unit into this particular location forming a sort of a blockade of these units being able to get back and form a cartwheel defense which usually happens when you're dealing with Poland you don't have much choice you don't have strong enough units to uh, be able to uh, uh, deal with the strength of the units that uh, the Germans have so the bonus out of all of this is being able to uh, take Lutz on the first turn so since that's important and since this shattering is important here what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure that I have trucks in position and trucks for the air units that are going to take um, action against this particular unit so I'm going to start off by uh, hammering it three times with air well, there's the first one there's the second one and this one here I'm only going to hammer it once and then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put it in full support mode so that when it gets uh, when I attack with the two infantry not the armor I'm going to save the armor for Lutz I'm going to be able to uh, have a shot at Lutz out of all of it I'm hoping to shatter it so I'm going to hold the control key here and that'll select the two units that I want I've got the 10 to 1 odds that I want and boom I've shattered it I'm very happy so you can see now uh, when I go to move I can move some of my units in position here but when I go to move I'm really using up almost all of my movement here the only uh, the only land unit that seems to have some maneuvering room is my armor unit out of all of it 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this unit and like I mentioned I'm going to move it to form a blockade in this particular area here. I'm going to move this unit forward out of all of it. I'm going to take this unit and move it into position and I'm going to take this unit and move it into position. So remembering the key here is trying to block this area here. I don't want units to come down. Now as a result, I've got some options or some problems here because I need to stop these particular units from being able to move over there. The less that can move down and surround Warsaw, the better it is for me. So I'm going to start off by reducing these two units, hopefully being able to destroy them. I'm going to turn around and put this in full support mode and I'm going to attack this unit. Then going to move down, do the same here. And I'm going to attack again. And I'm going to go wide to try to block this unit from moving in this position. I'm then going to go here. This will stop it from going forward. And what I want to do is protect Danzing uh, from this unit coming around. I don't mind if this unit goes here, but I do mind if it runs into my air unit so I'm going to put my headquarters in this position so that this way I can support it. What I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to go down into here trying again to form somewhat of a blockade and again I don't care too much with regard to these units being able to move up because again I'm going for the prize which is Warsaw so that this way I can force it to actually surrender that's the idea behind it. So moving forward now, Puzna is available. I'm going to hold off on this unit here just in case I, uh, I can push this unit back I'll be able to move this forward into this spot. I don't have much choice in here to complete the wall I'm going to move forward uh, and I have some options with regard to this unit. The only thing I'm worried about is that this unit here might go into this air uh, unit, but I got my headquarters here. I can always move it back if that's the case. Okay, so I'm now going to attack once, and then I'm going to put it on full support mode. And I'm going to do one attack, and we're going to see whether or not we can push it back, which we do. And I've taken Poznes, that's good. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to take a chance with my air unit. I'm going to place it in position just in case that unit can come over. This unit here, I'm going to move it here off a of rail on, or onto rail so that I can save uh, basically a third of oil. Comes to Krakow. So again, there's not much thinking here when it comes to Krakow. I just surround it. I turn around with my air unit. I do one attack to try to hit its strength I then put it in full support mode and I turn around and I attack and no luck I'm worried about this unit it does I don't think it can come over so the reality of the situation I don't have to worry about this air unit I'm gonna put it here so that this unit can't swing out and just hold it in that particular position so what do I have here well what I've created here is a wall to prevent these units from hopefully going back. I've somewhat created a wall here but these units will still be able to uh, fall back and these units here will probably be able to fall back and form a sort of a circle here. Unfortunately I have not taken LUTs so this is going to become a little bit more difficult uh, because these units are too far away to be able to have an impact on uh, the fall of Warsaw and I've also set up for an attack on Denmark so let's see how this plays out let's see if I can pull this off in two turns uh, or if uh, it doesn't work out in two turns and I'll have to do uh, uh, an extra turn to attack Poland so I'm gonna just play the Polish turn uh, basically what uh, I would think a strategy would be you can see here I can't really move forward here attacking would be silly at one to four odds here this unit is in the same boat I'd be giving up a uh, crack cow to move to just the headquarters units which is what they want anyway to bypass all of this this unit is also useless and it can't really do anything so I'm just gonna retreat 
this unit here, I guess I can retreat one hex out of all of it. So what do I have here? Well, it looks like this unit can come back, this unit can move back, and this unit, well, it can just go in this particular direction. It can't get my air units here, which is good. So I'm going to move that. I'm going to move this one back because, again, I'm assuming that with the armor unit in this location, the attack is going to come within that direction. I'm going to turn around, make sure that I can make it back, and I'm going to try to surround Warsaw as much as I can, making it as difficult as possible to uh, be able to uh, attack it. Okay. So unfortunately, to be able to do that, uh, all I really got is this unit here before these two units can move up and actually do some damage. So let's see how this works out. Okay, so that is Poland in a nutshell. Again, I'm not going to deal with France or England or anything like that. I'm just concentrating on Poland. And you can see the Polish in this particular strategy can form, whoa, a, a cartwheel defense out of all of it. And now comes the attacks that I require. So Poznan has fallen. Uh, you can see here by moving my units over, uh, there's not much uh, I could do with regard to Lutz. So the only option I have is moving this unit up. And I'm going to make sure that I'm going to give uh, a supply truck to that particular unit. Uh, again, moving forward here. Uh, I don't have much room until I uh, clear Lutz to be able to move that unit up. So keep that in mind. Sorry, folks. Had to deal with the phone. Okay, so let's start off with Lutz. This is on full support mode. Uh, again, one air attack, then full attack, six to one, Lutz is gone. This is going to move up two here. Again, working my way towards Warsaw here, I'm going to move this one forward. And again, I'm doing a full out attack. This is 10 to one odds. I'm going to turn around and attack with this unit. Perfect. Then I can move this one up without having to attack. That's good. Okay. Uh, again, uh, oh, this is too bad. Uh, moving forward here, I've got a couple units to work my way through towards Warsaw. This is four. Let's see if I can get rid of this unit here. Oh, there you go. And let's make sure this guy's in full support mode attack once and shift nice better odds here can I move forward to beautiful I'm gonna turn around I'm gonna get rid of this guy excellent as I'm moving towards Warsaw here uh, again this unit here is out of position unfortunately uh, this unit has been used up so I'm gonna have to attack without air support Got lucky, Warsaw has fallen. Moving forward down, this unit here, I'm gonna move on rail, again on rail, 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 rail. Okay, just habits. Now comes Krakow. Again, I don't have air support, one attack, there you go. So as you can see here, Poland fell in two turns, which is uh, what Magic uh, does similarly. Now he'll move to Denmark. He'll declare war on Denmark. Move his troops in. And as you can see here, you could stop it there, but why not give some troops some experience out of all of this? And now when you move to the next turn, you can see Poland has fallen.
Ta da! All done. You can decide which method you like. Uh, and then just kind of stick with it. And by the way, uh, I'm going to do a heads up to Panzer Mike for this fantastic mod. Uh, this mod that he's created for the units themselves is makes and the, the map mod makes uh, the game so much more enjoyable. Uh, thank you very much, Magic Mike. Take care, everyone, and stay safe. Have a good one.